Hi, everybody. Um, today, we're going to look at rhetorical appeals through cinema, and we're going to watch one of my favorite, a clip of, of Coach Boone's uh, very famous speech um, from one of my favorite, absolute favorite films, Remember the Titans, which is a sports film um, about a suburban Virginia school, uh, for a suburban Virginia school that had been um, segregated for, for generations. And um, Remember the Titans is a film that is, it, it's just unforgettable. It's a film about a football team who unites through integration um, as the school is desegregated by federal mandate. And um, the entire community kind of falls in suit. And it starts with this powerful speech from um, Coach, uh, Coach Boone. Uh, and um, suburban Virginia schools were segregated and the year that all of the students that were sent to T.C. Williams High School um, was in the early 70s, I think in 1971, as a matter of fact. And um, these actual events um, inspired this film. And um, I, I've actually been able to see um, Coach Boone as, as, he, as he became an older man. I've been able to see him um, and, and speak. And uh, he's a very powerful speaker. And so this film, um, and, and Denzel Washington, the actor who portrays Coach Boone, is, is phenomenal. And this film is um, it, it's quite powerful. So I'm going to leave you to it. Um, we're going to use Soapstone to analyze the rhetorical appeals through this, this speech. And so we're going to go over Egos, Pathos, Logos. So begin thinking about credibility, logic, and emotion. And um, we're going to go over the soapstone there once we watch the clip. Okay, so here's, here's um, I'll leave you to it here. Remember the Titans.
Okay, dry your eyes. Wow, powerful speech, right? One of my absolute favorites. Um, let's dig into the soapstone here. Um, okay, let's dig into the soapstone here. The speaker. The speaker is Coach Boone, Herman Boone. Denzel Washington powerfully portrays um, Coach Boone, and he's our, 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 our main character. He's the head coach of the newly integrated football team at T.C. Williams High School. Okay, so we've got Coach Boone. He's our speaker. Um, the occasion. This um, speech followed the, 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 the day before. Um, there was a big fight between the two characters that you see on the screen. And they had a big fist fight in their dorm room, okay? Um, this, this football team was kind of had a camp type activity where all of the team left and they did some team building and some bonding. And there was a big fist fight, an ugly fist fight in between two of the captains. And so the immediate occasion was um, kind of a reactionary fight or a reactionary um, speech given towards the fist fight that was in the, in the, in the um, dorm room earlier. The overall um, occasion the overall big occasion is the, the team, the fighting amongst the team, um, the fighting amongst the teammates, and then ultimately in the community, um, the, the racial, the in the racial uh, integration in the, the community as well. So, so you kind of see that the immediate and the overall. So the occasion is um, the occasion. What happens is a, a bit reactionary. And then there's kind of a, a, a limit, a little sc a scope, a broader scope, and a more limited scope there. Okay. So overall, is, a, is a, the race uh, segregation, and the immediate was the initial fight. Okay. Our audience is the team and the coaches. And I don't know if you noticed when Coach Boone initially set out to run the boys. You know, the entire football team, the the linemen, and 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 all of the football team on a very long run to Gettysburg. And one of the 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 coaches was leery, and he's like, "Coach, we're not Marines, you know, high school football team here." And so the audience, the team is the team and the coaches, and and some of the team. Um, and the coaches, uh, some of them were more um, willing to follow Coach Boone's lead than others. Some were a little more skeptical, and you saw that. Um, the purpose of this speech was to bring them together, to inspire, to unite, to bring togetherness, um, and to show them that thousands of men died because of, of the issue of race and, and, and segregation, and that they're wasting their time fighting, fighting over those things amongst their team. So a very specific purpose. Um, the subject's racial tension, um, how it leads to death, um, how we all need to come together and accept each other. So the subject was a hard subject to talk about, racial tension, um, but how it leads to hatred and death and how the team has to come together. Subject's very specific. Um, the tone is urgent. It's a sense of urgency that Coach Boone has to speak to his teammates. And um, they have to unite or they will lose. And um, he very powerfully compares that to um, the Battle of Gettysburg and um, losing, you know, not just in, the, in the, the football games, but the loss of life. And so it's a very powerful, um, very powerful comparison there. Um, when we go back and we look at these appeals, logic, credibility, and um, logic, credibility, and emotion, very powerful dialogue here. Very, very powerful dialogue. Um, Coach Boone, in, in response to these bottom two questions, um, Coach Boone uses um, tremendous credibility with, um, with, in response to ethos with his team by using specific pronouns. All of the us and the we's and the let's. He is establishing unity of his team. And, it's, and he's very possessive and, um, in that regard. And um, in his speech, he, he, he says, if we don't come together, then we will lose just like them. And so all of the we's and the let's and the us and the them are very, very powerful to, to, just to, to establish the credibility because really it's the credibility of the lessons that we learned in the Civil War as far as race relationships. So it's very important. 
Um, lastly, one of the examples of pathos, which is emotional appeal um, from Coach Boone's speech. So we, I, I chose one. I chose the one about the battlefield's blood and how it bubbles up. And I love that imagery. And um, it makes you, you think about what happened and it puts you back in that historical connotation and that, that, that violent, um, very, very um, physical battle. And um, he uses that emotional appeal to connect to his teammates because they are still having the same issues years, years later. Um, and drawing those connections, I think it's very, very powerful to um, have an emotional emotional tone and an emotional nod to his speech. And so, so there you have it in a nutshell. One of my absolute favorite films, Remember the Titans, and Coach Boone's speech. So long live Coach Boone, and um, I hope you guys have fun and enjoy um, the rest of analyzing rhetorical appeals through cinema, and um, have a fantastic day.